United we stand, divided we fall. Unity as enshrined by the scripture is partnering together to work towards uplifting a kind of belief system. Do you know that if 50,000 people watch our movies, as we have always experienced even more, and just 500 people like the movie, we have just told YouTube that out of the 50,000 that watched our movie, only 500 people loved it. It means that 49,500 did not like the movie. Do you know what YouTube will do? They will automatically remove that video from their recommended videos. And that will not allow a lot of people to see it. Why would you come and watch a video, love the video, and be blessed by the video and refuse to like the video? We can do that now. Let's change the mentality. Even as you're watching me now, click the like button. If you're watching over a telly, log in on your phone and click the like button. The more the like, the more the videos go around the world and are recommended across the globe. Don't you want people to be blessed by this same content? Then like. Share the video on your various social media platforms. Comment on the videos and click the subscribe button. Thank you very much and God bless you. the market. Pick every valuable things you need to pick. And even one tries to stop you. Kill! Where is my mother? Heaven is my own. Yes. I live with Jesus forever. I guess we leave this land to another land. But where? my kingdom. The kingdom that is against God of heaven. I am not in any mood to appear in the palace today. Is it a crime to be beautiful or to be the queen? I only need a queen. Let us gather all the beautiful maidens in the land. We will keep them for a while and take good care of them. After that, we bring them out and audition them. Woman leader. Your Highness. I have found my queen. <laughs> the woman you have chosen to become queen. Is not from this land. That is an abomination. Then she can never be the queen of this land. Abrego! What have you done? Caesar! My parents made a terrible mistake when I was Christian. Peace. I wonder where they got that name from. Peace. And look at Mr. Lee. Do I look peace? Obviously not. I am the opposite of my name. I am war. I am a warrior. Oh, I love war. Much love I've got for war. I'm always fulfilled anytime I commit crime. And I think my purpose and calling is to cause trouble. And I guess the fulfillment of your purpose has landed due to your grief. You see, the purpose of a man to either land them to palace or prison. But this is landing you to forget it. Man, forget it. It's absolutely of no consequence to my interest, even if it lands me in the sky. I knew definitely that it will land me somewhere. And I care less about where it has landed me. Because I chose it. 
chose it myself. Okay. It is good to announce to you that this will cause you to die. <laughs> Death. Death. Mm -hmm. Death is the smallest thing you can threaten me with. Because I've always known that the warrior you see today you may not see tomorrow. Good morning. Be at ease. Thank you, sir. But why these special concentrated greetings? I am here to congratulate you on your new post, sir. You deserve it. Well, well, well. You see, the point is, it is not I that did it. God allowed it. That's a point of correction. Now God, they bless someone's effort and sacrifice. We have to celebrate this, sir. Well, I know it is worth celebrating. But that is if God commands it. All right, sir. Congratulations, sir. All right, thank you. Pardon my manner, sir. How is madam and the children, sir? We are fine. Oh, no problem. Would you like to share it? All right, thank you. <laughs> How does a chief congratulate the chief superintendent of police? <laughs> Hello, Mr. Badi. Ah. Hello, Supo. Good morning. Supo, why, why is your voice this low, like you are not happy? Why should you be sad, <laughs> despite your achievement in the police? Mr. Bade, I only achieved a successful goal. But there are other aspects of my life that have not been successful. Okay, I know. But you see, you have to take things easy. It is one step. Anyway, I have a very important information to give you. <laughs> and you'll be so happy when I tell you. That information will make you so happy than ever before. Good news. I'm all here. No, no, no. Not on the phone. <laughs> Not on the phone at all. Until we see. When we see, we'll discuss it. <laughs> Okay then, thank you. Okay, super. Um, uh, yes? Um, sir, you have a visitor. She says she's here to see you. Okay, let her in. Okay, sir. Good morning, Chief. 
What have you come to do again? Have I not warned you that you should never come into this office again? Uh uh. Chief, at least hear me out now. What have you got to offer? In fact, I am not interested in whatever you may want to say. Leave my office now. Will, will you get out of this place? No sense, You are late. Hmm. I, I said you are late. You asked me to stay and I've been waiting more than one hour. Well, I'm so sorry for lacking. I was a bit delayed at work. Hmm. Then who are those delayers? <laughs> Well, they are the people that know that I love a gorgeous-looking damsel named Falakami. And they know that one second cannot pass without me thinking about her. Hmm. Hmm. I owe me. What? Stop it. You are affecting me. All right, I'm sorry. I won't do that again. And what's that? I mean I won't stop loving you. Hmm. Let's take a walk. All right. Yeah. So, why are we here? Yeah, uh, you see, it's about our marriage. I mean, our wedding. I think it's better we start planning now. How many times will I tell you that I'm not ready? Ah, uh, like Then when will you be ready? It's, it's almost two years now. What are we cutting? I mean, there are some... We still have some... Some times now that we can still use to prepare our head. Some what? Some what, for like me? Let's take this thing serious. We are growing older every day. Then let your pocket become older. Ah, you've been using that your jalopit car for how many years now? Tell me. For how many years? Four years. Imagine. Four good years. A car you bought at second hand. Ah, oh God. See, 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 see. You know I love you. And I've prepared my mind to spend the rest of my life with you. But... Please, let's put things in place first. I mean, let's get a better car, please. For like me. Yes. Are you marrying me or my car? I'll marry both of you. See, you're making this worse. I'm very sure if you put your mind there, you will buy it. Yes. <laughs> this is amazing. Let's go. In 2006, when we were coming from Benin to Ondo for the Christmas celebration with my wife, we had a ghastly motor accident and my wife died. I don't me. My loving, caring, and godly wife. Even my son did not take the whole situation easily. He was so devastated. That's so painful. It is painful. Since then, I began to remember her every year, especially when I get my promotion. Because she made a promise to me that she will stand by me, especially in difficult times. And she has kept to the promise. Ever since then, I've been alone. I'm very sorry about that. Huh? What is the essence of the celebration when she was not around to witness the promotion? I understand you. But you still have to be a man. Please, 
clean your tears. Let it go, forget it. Thank you. Now you have you have heard the sad aspect of my life. What is that good thing you wanted to tell me? The good thing you said you want to share with me? Uh, yes. You see, um, this good news, if you hear it, you'll be so happy. You. Okay. Uh, it's, it's about finding someone. I mean, I just found a new wife. <laughs> Sorry? I said I found another wife. So? Are you not happy? You're not happy that I found a wife? I mean, a new wife after I lost my wife a year ago? Is that the good news you wanted to share with me? Who? Is that not a good news? Hmm. Chief, I've not forgotten how you lost your wife. I hope you have changed. Uh, well, for the sake of happy, I'm happy. Um, it's alright. <laughs> <laughs> Show yourself! At ease. The information about the trust criminal. Warrior, take me to my table this morning, sir. You mean you've gotten the pictures and everything? No, sir. We don't have his picture yet, but we have his phone number, sir. Great. Great. Ah. Oh, this is good. I will call him anytime soon. That criminal must be arrested. And I would like to execute that assignment before I retire. Okay, sir. We believe in you, sir. No. It is better we all believe in God so that we will not all fail. But you have done a good job. I will call him in a jiffy. Okay, sir. Show sure, sir! Yes, of course, um, we have to make sure that that project is completed this year. Because <laughs> that is what we are using as bait against the next election. Okay. I cannot afford to lose that title, Senator. <laughs> yes, sir. You see, um, of course, of course. The funniest thing is that a lot of people have started calling me Senator. <laughs> and I'm happy. We have to continue to work hard. Work hard? Yes, yes. I will, I will forward, I'll forward it to you. But please don't forget our agreement. It's all right. I'll see you soon. Thank you very much. <laughs> huh? All right. <laughs> well done, sir. Uh, I said I want to see you, sir. What is your problem? What is your problem, for God's sake? I expect that you should be wise at least for a moment. Can't you see that I was on a call? But somebody is looking for you, sir. And what are you, or who are you, to, to have come to tell me that? <laughs> it's your girlfriend, you. What's wrong with you? What is wrong with you? I hope you are not referring to my point. Uh, that yellow purple. <laughs> you have a big problem. Because I don't know, I don't know why you like to put your mouth into other people's matter too much. How many times will I tell you that she's not my girlfriend but my wife? Sir, but you are not married. What is your problem? Eh? What is your own? I have not married. I have not married her. She's not my wife yet, but she's my fiancée. 
but Oga, have you proposed to her? Ayele, or what do they call you? Okay, you want to know? Yes, now. I'm your driver. I need to know. You're not serious, sir. <laughs> You're not serious at all. I can't. I can't. You can't be serious? Yes, sir. <laughs> okay. I have proposed to her. Though she has not responded, but I know that today she will say yes. See, see. Let her hear. I am warrior. Mm. Mm. And I have with me three rigid men. God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Ghost. <laughs> we are like the soldier heart. We bite. We stink. And uh, we dispatch like wings. <laughs> I know you're already shivering now. How oh, I got your number? Oh no, no. <laughs> I know you're a strong man. I've heard about your your works and your networks, but you need to calm down. <laughs> yes. Everybody knows how you disturbed and disrupted their peace in the north, and now you have relocated to Ibadan. I want to announce to you once more that I am on six. I can kill. Oh, the same way I kill. I can crush. Who? Oh, you mean the same way I crush? You don't have any hiding place. I want to reassure you that you will soon be captured. And that will be very, very, very soon. I advise you don't do that. Because if you do, you will regret the consequences of your actions. Hmm? You are speaking to warrior. Warrior of all time. Huh. Huh. Our numbers have been traced. Our roof is leaking. Our numbers are on their tables. But there's no cause for alarm. <laughs> I told you I already asked someone I want to marry. A man you want to marry? No, it's not just a man. He's a will of God. <laughs> Fola, why do you like to deceive yourself? Everyone knows that every rich man by default is the will of God for a beautiful lady like you. I love my man. Although he doesn't have much, but I'm convinced that he is my husband. Yes. <sighs> okay. But still, for La, I will like you to think about this golden opportunity. From the depth of my heart, I am saying to you that I love you. And I am not ready to lose you to any man who does not know your worth and value. Okay, Che. I will pray about this and feed you back. It's all right. All right, sir. I believe that um, as time goes by, you will understand what I'm saying. I would like to take my leave now. It's all right. Thank you very it's all right. much. Thank sir. you. Yes, sir. Um, Fola, hold on a minute. Yeah. Fola, I believe that as a good Christian as you are, you will not be able to kiss. But at least uh, you should be able to hug me. Okay, right, you can go. Right, I will sir. send your transport fee to you. Ah, thank you, my chief. Thank you, sir. Right. Yes, right. sir. Fola 
Akemi. You're playing a very dangerous game. You have already been convinced that Mr. Johnson is the will of God for you. Having affection for another man is dangerous. He's not <sighs> just a man. He's a rich man. Besides, I don't remember to tell you that I have affection for him. See, Folakemi, don't be carried away with this man's riches. Fine, God's will may not look attractive at first glance, but when you obey him, other things will be added onto it. Will chief title and riches also be added to it? See, favor and mercy of God is paramount. Only God knows, but I'm very sure that better offer than that of the chief riches and is tied to and this package. I've heard you. I will pray about it. Huh. Pray, you say. See, there's nothing to disturb God about. He has already answered you. Any other manipulation will only be coming from you. Is that all you're going to say? What else do you want me to say? God answers prayer is always choking. I'm sure Chief is the answer to the prayer. He's ready to spend anything on me. I can't believe he sent 200k for my transport fee. Ah, only it is not even as if I'm traveling out of the country. Honestly, this is the kind of man I'm eager to marry. I just prayed about what you requested for, and God has spoken. He promised to surprise me and even do more than a car. Only if we can be united and be patient. I would like us to see tomorrow so I can share the promises with you. Do have a blessed sleep and a wonderful dream idea. Just getting home from the office. Missing my babe seriously. <laughs> I just transferred 200k to your account for your transport so that I can see your face tomorrow by 10 o'clock in the morning. I love you there. What's this? Is this not getting too much for me? Another 200k for only me to say yes. Ah. What will happen if I eventually said yes? When you say yes to your will and desire, you have only automatically said no to God. <sighs> you have only closed God option and followed yours. Therefore, any difficulties you face in the process, you'll be responsible for the consequences of your action. You heard what I said. <laughs> I've not been sleeping. I've been awake since you woke up and I heard everything you've been saying. For like me. See, I would like you to be patient. Let's see things with the spiritual eyes and not the physical eyes at this time. I'm getting convinced that Chief is the answer to the prayer I've been praying for so many years. The man is an open door. If then he is. Falake, God will not tie you down with another man. See, I will not like you to be carried away by the manipulative fallacy of the devil. I like you to stand your ground and await what God would do. Okay, I've heard you. But I just hope Bro Johnson has not paid you for this. <laughs> Falake, it's time to rest. Let's go and sleep. Yes, wisdom should come in. Happy 
How far? Opisco. How was lectures today? Oh, I know you must be stressed. Hmm? We'll be done with our masters in no time. I'll be free from all these professors. Hmm? Just be calm. Okay? But whoever steps on the python still must be ready for war. We need to continue our master's degree in heaven. Okwe, what's happening? What's going on here? Who is the offender in this case? Okay. A rich man saw the both of us. Okay. He appreciated us and we exchanged contacts. How are you fine ladies? Good evening, sir. Good uh, evening. Which way are you going? Um, this way. Ah, sorry. And I'm going this way. Okay. Honestly, I I would have assisted you. Ah, oh my god. Ah, okay. Uh, can, can I just have your numbers? See, it doesn't mean anything. I just like to have your numbers. Okay. Um, zero nine zero. Okay. Four eight six five nine two eight one. Okay, fine. Thank you very much. And yours? Four eight one. Yes. Four six. Okay. Seven nine. Uh -huh. Six two. Uh -huh. Eight three. Beautiful. Thank you very much. All right, sir. Ah. I just like your person. <laughs> and <laughs> the next thing I heard is that he sent out a sum of 500,000 Naira. Where is your friend? Okay, let's, okay, let's calm down, okay? I sense envy in, in your narration. Eh, please, what's wrong? What's actually wrong? Shut up! Besides, I'm not supposed to be talking with you. Where's your friend? If if that's why you're here, sorry she's not around. Oh, really? No problem. Just let her know I came to check up on her. And let her know that I am trailing her. Excuse me. What has Volakemi got herself into? Hey, I hope this ends well. <laughs> well done, sir. Uh, okay. Okay, uh, check that mail now. Okay. And get back to me, please. Yes, sir. Was well I done. talking to you? Okay. Was I talking to you? I'm sorry, sir. Okay, what, what is it this time? Oh? I have something to ask you, Oga. <laughs> we need to discuss that. No, no, no. I'm not in the mood for that. Come some other time, please. But this is the time. Oh. We need to discuss this thing this time. <laughs> because we may not have another time. Please. Ayele. Okay, I'll give you two minutes. Thank you, sir. Hey, Oga, when is our introduction? And for what? Introduction. With who? <laughs> Your girlfriend. Ah, sorry. <laughs> Your fiancé. <laughs> Yellow purple. Ah, Yele. Oh, God, you, sir. Honest, you don't know. You are sick, oh. You are very, very sick, honestly. <laughs> ah, Yele. All right. Very soon. I will, I, will, I will carry you along. As soon as she says yes to my proposal. Sir, Ogami, oh, I think there is something else, oh. It takes her so long time to say yes to your proposal. I think this girl has another person in mind. Uh, yes, yes. You see, you are making sense. You are making sense. For the first time, you are making sense. Thank you, sir. Mm. She, she has a will of God in her life. But I am prepared to change her mind from that will of God. <laughs> I will use my money, my wealth to erase the will of God for our life. <laughs> of course. Because wealth is a tool of building up and also a tool of destruction. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I love you, sir. The Lord gives you riches. 
to use as an eraser to erase the will of God from someone's else's mind. Thank you, sir. Ayele, what's wrong with you? Ah, what a form tree do you have to talk to me in that manner? Is it because I'm laughing with you? That's an insult on my personality. Sorry, sir. Get out of my office! Sorry, sir. Come, 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 come. What is it that you said you wanted to ask? <laughs> when is our introduction, sir? That's a question? You are sick. How are you, Fola? Doing an operation very soon. And this time around, we shall be entering the palace. We are going there to remove the right eye of a king. But how could that be possible? Don't you think it will be difficult for us to do? Wait, 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 wait. You see, it is always painful when the answer is opposite to what you expect. Even if you have tried all your best to influence the answer with your resources. I mean, your mind will begin to, you know, skip. You'll be afraid and your heart will begin to beat fast when the answer is about to be pronounced. Do you understand my point? Of course I do. Thank you. Um, I'm sorry for the resources wasted. The time wasted. I've made up my mind to continue the rest of my life with you. Do! Yes. You, 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 with me? Then who will I continue to spend the rest of my life with? <laughs> with God who is capable of giving you your own wife. See, I'm not the will of God for you. I had a lot of visions to prove that. Ah uh ah, -uh. for lack of What about the convictions we both had about this relationship? About this courtship? You know I love you. And I'm sure you love me too. Oh, there! Let's play the first one. See, it is possible for the Holy Spirit to change his decisions and be led of God. Ah, for lack of me. The journey of two solid years trampled on just like that. Hey, but I know right within me that the Spirit of the Lord is telling you to change your mind. See, I've made up my mind. No going back. God is my defense.
Bro, Johnson, what's the problem all about? I gave all my attention to her. I gave up. We, we, we had convictions. We had plans. We had visions. But uh, she, she walked out on me. She dumped me. Without, without considering the, the, the consequences. In any case, Bro Johnson, you have to be a man. Put yourself together. I will try and hear from her. Probably you are offended her without you knowing. Mm? Just put yourself together, and I know God is still in charge, okay? Sister Darcy, believe me, believe me, he didn't offend her, he didn't. She rejected me. Well, not only me, but the will of God for her life. Because we were both convinced about this relationship before we started. She, 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 she left me. She quit God's option. Because of our interest, our interest for, for mundane things. And I will make it to, I will make it to in life. No, God, don't say, don't say that. Eh? You have to be a man, actually feel your pain. And even if Ola came and said that, she has only packed her rug. I'm very sure God will replace with the shining towels. You said pain? Pain? Actually, you see, uh, what she did as uh, is not is not a big deal. It's not. Uh, <laughs> it doesn't have any effect on me. But Johnson, I know those tears are just waters. My friend already told me that whenever you're weak, you always pretend to be strong. So come on, <laughs> come on, but Johnson, <laughs> be a man. Come on. This well. Just like a building. Every relationship that is good should be on a strong foundation. So, on what foundation are we actually building our relationship? On a strong foundation. Yes, I know. On what strong foundation are we building our relationship on? <sighs> on a foundation of covenant. Foundation of covenant? Yes, covenant of blood. You see, the strongest relationship is the relationship between family members. And that is because they are blood related. Even when your friends ignore you in time of trouble, your family members will not only be dear for you, they will also be dear with you. Exactly. And that is why we need a covenant of blood. What are you trying to do? Don't forget that you claimed to love me. This is to assure me that you will do anything for me. Senator, yes, I love you. But don't forget to fast that I'm a Christian. I can't make a blood covenant. No, 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 I can't. <sighs> for like, can you call yourself a Christian? Christian should be like Jesus. Yes, of course. Don't Jesus make blood covenant to save his loved ones? No, don't misquote the scriptures, sir. It is heretical to do so. Falakem, let's not waste time. No, I can't. Give me your hand. No, sir. Give me your hand. No, 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 no. no. Revelation. Fulaka. What are you doing awake by this time of night? Okay. Okay. I have finally fallen into a trap. <laughs> Which trap? I saw in my dream. Shift body dripping my blood in an occultic calabash. What? Bobby, you're lucky. Maybe God has intentionally showed you this before you accept his proposal. Or have you? I promise to give him positive results on the night of this month. 
Ah. Today is the 11th day of this month. Ah. So it is true. You have eventually fallen into the occultic trap of covetousness and material things. Olake. Ah. What are we going to do now? You say? Dara, what are we going to do now? <laughs> Did you just mention my name? Oh. I'm sorry, I, I do not have a solution to this. It sounds like this. Please, we deny me. But God will not forsake me. God loves everyone. <laughs> but he's only attracted to those that obey instructions. <laughs> Please, Dara. What's the way out? <laughs> you entered into the room yourself. You should be able to find yourself out. Okay. I think I know what to do. I will walk up to him tomorrow morning and reveal what God has shown him. I call it quit with him. Yes, that's what I'm going to do tomorrow morning. Oh, good. Since you know what to do. <laughs> Good luck. Have a nice sleep. It's your desire. 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 But uh, <clears throat> based on our last discussion, you promised that as uh, you are going, you are coming back with what I asked you to bring. What happened? I'm sorry, Baba. That is true. Okay. But to be candid, I have always been thinking about you. Mm. There is no time that I wake up that I will not think about you, Baba. <laughs> but now you have time now. <laughs> uh, well, I'm okay. sorry. Oh, no problem. No problem. What about the material? Yes, uh, uh, it is exactly the work that uh, you asked me to do that I've been doing. Okay. It's only that that lady that I plan to use has been proven difficult. Mm. But thank God, <laughs> it has been done. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> it's all uh, mm. So, where is the blood sample? Ah. This is it. Ah. This is it, Baba. The, the, it was actually difficult to do it. Mm. But our inner man suddenly went weak and uh, our spiritual light uh, went dim. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I was able to get this little, little blood from our inner man in my dream. Mm. <laughs> Thank you, Baba. I bathed as instructed and I kept the yado under my bed. <laughs> Baba, the incantation really worked. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, good. Hey, hey, you Baba. Hmm. 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 By this time tomorrow. Ah, it's okay. That shouldn't be difficult. You must bring her here by this time tomorrow ah, okay. to complete the sacrifice. Ah, okay, Baba. No baton. Okay, Baba. <laughs> Thank you, Baba. <laughs> Thank you, Baba. Let me give you something. <laughs> give you something Baba. Enough is enough. I will walk up to him to declare that I'm no longer interested in the relationship. To end with this morning. Your desire
you today? Hi, good evening. Good evening. What's up? Why are you going to? I'm just going down the road. Okay, if you don't mind, just hoping just take you down. No, never mind. I'm fine. Thank you. I'm fine. Don't worry. No, don't worry. No, don't worry. Move it. It's a desire. What's wrong? Let me call out that number. Switch off. Hey! Where, where can I reach out? Where? This is unusual now. Chief, where did you put my friend? How do you mean? I don't understand any of your words. Oh! But I understand every of your actions. You arranged that kidnap, didn't you? Kidnap? I don't know what you're talking about. Proves I was in How do you mean? I am not only a physical detective. I know as much as I see. I still... I don't understand. Well, the officers will explain better to you the moment I hand over the groups to them. Detective Okwe, what exactly do you want? Just give me your attention and I'll be silent about it. Hello, Baba. Hello, Baba. From the investigation that we, we made, we have gathered that you have been kidnapped. Ah, kidnapped? Ah, only war is dangerous. Chief Daddy is very, very dangerous. How can you allow a baby rat be playing on your intelligence with all the influence and the power you have as a politician? See, you must get that lady. Yes. I give you only seven days. The door must be here. Latest seven days. Failure to do that. Your pants shall begin to run after you. Wait, wait, wait. Hey, Hoga, okay, no problem. Who is Madi? Hey, Modano. Hey, we will not run Madi in Jesus' name. Hey, Hoga, we don't know who is Madi. Hey, I don't know who is Madi. Hey, we don't know who is Madi. Hey, we don't know who is Madi. Hey, we don't know who is Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. Never you test me so. See, let me tell you something. Actually, your life has been paid for. But I intentionally left you because I want to use you as a bait. But it's like the favor that I rendered is very risky. And it has put our lives on the thin line. Because your pay is threatening me. And that's because she has a lot of information about me. <laughs> My life has been on a thin line the very day I rejected God's offer to satisfy my taste. Why are you insinuating? <laughs> a thin line is not a death sentence. What makes it so risky is only the fact that no one knows when it's record. So it is so that it will quickly identify the master that doesn't put his children on a knife and surrender to he that carries his children in his hands. Oh. 
You have a master? Or are you from a rival court? You have a grandmaster or maybe a big daddy somewhere who we don't know? Who is this master you're talking about? of that notorious criminal called Warrior. Where? From who? No, 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 ignore that for now. Gather your boys together, please. I'll test you the address, I mean, the location of um, where, where, where they are. All, all, all right, all right, all right. Thank you very much. I said who is the master you're talking please, about? Please, please, stop, stop it! <laughs> Do not call that name here. It's both the personality and that name. You, you, you want to call the name of a man who opened his eyes so wide and allowed the accident that happened in the year 2006 to claim the life of my mother. You, you, you want to call the name of a man who rewards his words and stewards with bitterness. You, you want to call the name of a man who decided to reward my mother's neighbor in his vineyard with death? In your own interest, don't call that name. I'm sorry for that. No, one thing I'm very sure of is that every time God allows his children to face such damn casting, it is always followed by a great upliftment. I'm very sure you were not calm and not servants enough to see or wait for the upliftment. You are bringing a hand to our discussion. Oh. The more you remind me of what your Jesus did in the past, the more I get mad at you. And do you know why? I decided. It is my desire not to do anything to make that your Jesus glad. I decided not to walk in his ways anymore because it does not deserve it. No, you are wrong. Only Jesus can hear your word. Stop it! You will not only put an end to our discussion, but you put an end to your life. If you say one more word, <gasps> nothing can stop me from telling you the truth about Christ. Mm, I see. Missing girl is making me sad. I cannot help take it out of my head. But Chief, that is why I'm here for you. I am ready to double everything she satisfies you with. After all, as a detective, I've been able to get every of the information about the kidnapper and how the whole thing happened. <laughs> Hello? Hello, friend. Just to tell you that I've contacted my boys and to tell you that they are moving. They will soon be in that place. Thank you very much. Please ensure that Falakemi is safe. Please. I can tell you that the nation will celebrate you. Just ensure that Falakemi is safe, please. We have given our word. She'll be back very, very soon. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.
Hello? Hello, what? Alpha, I hope she has been buried. I have a leading to keep her alive. I don't really know, but a part of me wants her alive. What? When all of my parts have sentenced her to death? Oh, lady, I want you to try and understand. You see, they are close to the way things are done. Let's raise it. See, not in this season. I told you how much of a threat this lady has been to me. And this is the only time you can help me to get a revenge. Huh? <laughs> As a predator, you don't kill all the praise that comes to your tables. In a sum of time, Sometimes this praise can be used to catch bigger praise. Not now. The black ghosts are already on their way. They are close by. They will see me standing by. We are set for war. Lady, watch as you see the warrior overcomes the war. <laughs> see, warrior, bringing that down is the only achievement. Others are mine now. Deal? Deal. Okay. Hello, Baba. I am very sorry for not calling you. Please, I am very busy right now. I'm trying to sort things out. I've pleaded with the gods to give us more time to get another material for the sacrifice. Ah, thank you very much. Thank you very much, Baba. Thank you. I really appreciate you. Listen, they give us an extension of seven days. <sighs> Seven days is too small. Seven days is too small. Ah, Baba, please. You need to do something. Please, help me. See, I pleaded, but they got annoyed. They now said that we must get the material for the sacrifice by 12 midnight today. Ah, ah, 12 o'clock? 12 o'clock? Ah, that's unfair. That's too short. That's the worst condition. Seven days. 12 o'clock. Baba, Baba, please. What are we going to do now? Listen, buddy. They've agreed to get another material for the sacrifice. They have agreed to extend the days for seven days. That one is okay. So, um, what, what are we going to break? A mature girl. Hey, hey. I am finished. Hey, Baba. Baba o, Baba o, Baba o, I am finished. Hey, mature lady. Hey, wait, oh. wait. I have one. I will, I will come see you very fast, Baba. I have one, I have one. You have one? Bring her, I'm only giving you two hours. The lady must be here. Latest two hours. Two hours. Okay. Okay, I will double up. I will double up. I will double up. Thank you. Thank you. Ah. Ah. Oh my god. Oh. Where did you go? I went to use the restroom. Um uh, you you will have to follow me somewhere now. Oh I'll be following my chief out. Yes, 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 you go out with your chief. Yes. Okay. So fast. Have you heard from your girlfriend? Yes. Hello? Hello, driver. Please, um, prepare my car and the key. I'm going out now. You're not following me. Okay, I need to go out, okay? I'm coming downstairs immediately. Let's go, let's go. PG, Black Ghost, get ready. Move, move! Get your 
just caught him cocky. Move or I drop you dead, idiot! What the fuck? Let's leave, leave, leave! Wait! Wait! You leave, and I will join you very soon. Undercover. Move! Move it! Move it! Drop your weapon. You are under arrest. Surrender. Drop it. Do you drop your weapons? I am a warrior. I will kill you. Drop your weapons now. Surrender now. No, you surrender. Drop your weapon now. If you shoot, I will shoot. I really don't care. You are wearing a police uniform. Drop your weapons now. Surrender now. Drop your weapons. Stop it! Stop it, Rapper! But the time is going. They should have arrived. I need to take Falakemi to a place. I ordered them to lock him up immediately he leaves the hospital. He should have been behind the bars now. But for Lakemi is not a criminal. Why should she be locked behind the bars? I didn't, didn't talk about for Lakemi. I only spoke about the criminal that was captured. Then where is for Lakemi? Where is for Lakemi? I ordered them to leave her body there for your sake. Which body? Who killed her? The criminal did. No! No! It would have been worse if he had seen a body. I guess he must have been drawn into the ocean of our love. Ah! Chief Rade, you don't have to do this. Leave him alone! You don't have to do this. Are <laughs> you by me? Dad? Dad? Are you by me? Daddy, oh, congratulations. Thank you, Baba. Everything is set. But you have to carry the corpse of the lady and dump it before dawn. Okay, 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 no problem. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. <sighs> Please, uh, I am actually in haste. 
I need to rush to the hospital to save a life. Are you are you sure? Of course, you, you can say I'm I'm in haste. I'm in haste, please. Okay, you can go. Thank you. Thank you. God bless you. Gentlemen, come and open your boots. Officer, uh, please. I am in haste. I said go and open your boots now. No, what I'm saying is, I I need to save a life. I'm going to the hospital. Obey I'm... first. Obey first. You, 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 you don't seem to understand what I'm saying. Yes. See, you, you, you actually don't understand me. What I'm saying is, you actually need to believe me. There is nothing in my boot. Go and open your boots now. Sir, oh, okay. I think it's it's an emergency thing, sir. Simple. We need to be sure that we are safe. Go and open your boots now. Okay, okay, I understand. Let me just set to I you. I said go and open your boots now. I found it! Found what? This man must be a ritualist. Ritualist? Move! Move, yeah, move, move, move! move. Ah. Wait, wait, wait now. Open your boots! Open! Open your boot! I open said it. open your boot! Open it now! Open! open it. Can you see? Ah! You're under arrest! You're under arrest, Mr. You're under arrest! Move! You're under arrest! Move! 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 Man. See, see, see. move I said move. move! Let me just talk to you! Move! My parents made a terrible mistake. When I was Christian, peace. I wonder where they got that name from, peace. And look at me, Stanley. Do I look peace? Obviously not. I am the opposite of my name. I am war. I am a warrior. Oh, I love war. Much love I've got for war. I'm always fulfilled anytime I commit crime. And I think my purpose and calling is to cause trouble. And I guess the fulfillment of your purpose has landed due to your grief. You see, the purpose of a man to either land them to palace or prison. But this is landing you to forget it. Man, forget it. It's absolutely of no consequence to my interest, even if it lands me in the sky. I knew definitely that it will land me somewhere. And I care less about where it has landed me because I chose it. I chose it myself. Okay. It is good to announce to you that this will cause you to die. <laughs> Death. Death. Mm -hmm. Death is the smallest thing you can threaten me with. Because I've always known that the warrior you see today, you may not see tomorrow. <laughs> My lord, the suspect. Mr. Habogude Peace Ayobami is innocent. As it was said by Officer Rufus, one of the officers on field, in an interview on the 19th of October, that only one gunshot was heard throughout the battle, which was triggered by Officer Chris to Mr. Habogude Ayobami's leg, in which the fracture is still there till date. Secondly, my lord. Objection, my lord. Objection overruled. Thank you, my lord. My lord, 
I think there is no offense without an evidence. And in this case, the only evidence to justify a murder case is a dead body. But as we speak, no one has seen the dead body of Miss Julius Falakemi. Not even pictures. Objection, my lord. Objection sustained. Thank you, my lord. My lord, I don't think Mr. Bogunde Ayobami's case should be negotiated on. Mr. Bogunde Ayobami, popularly known as Warrior, is a notorious criminal, not only in this cosmos, but throughout the entire country. He's a dreadful criminal. Also to her, my lord, Mr. Bogunde Ayobami is not only a criminal, but a murderer and a kidnapper. My lord, going by the laws of our dear country, whoever that has once killed, whoever whose ends has shed innocent blood, deserves death. I mean death. Therefore, my lord, this celebrity of a criminal does not deserve life imprisonment. Neither does it deserve any imprisonment under the guise of justice. What it deserves is death. Death, my lord. Thank you. Before I proceed, CSP Abogunde Phil, the DPO of Ring Road Police Station asks for a favor, which shall be read by the court clerk. Thank you, my lord. I, Abogunde Philip, is using my post as the CSP not to violate any rule, but to appeal for a favor from the court. This is my judgment. Mr. Abogude Philip is found guilty as requested. Therefore, Mr. Abogude Philip shall be executed. Meanwhile, his son, Abogude Peace Ayobami, is found not guilty. Therefore, he is discharged and acquainted. Alright. <laughs> The only thing that will make a father do this for his son is the love such a father has for the son. It will be a very, very painful thing if you go back to your vomit. To go back to your vomit. Dad, you did all this for me. I did it for the love I have for you. I did it because I love you, I said. I did it for you. This guy is really evil. Seriously. I just pray government and you get to them one of these days and you'll be arrested because it's causing so much hard work. Amen. Then our sister Dara Simi, thanks so much for the other time. You see, those words were comforting and encouraging. What's that, brother? Stop embarrassing me. <laughs> I'm not embarrassing you. What are brethren for? 
<laughs> and there's one thing I want to talk to you about. Okay. You see, ever since Bola Kemi has dumped me, has rejected me, you see, God has been raising another sister in my heart. Oh, really? Yeah. I can't wait to hear it. Actually, I don't know how to say it. But just to tell us, let's know who this lucky sister is. I can't wait to hear it. <laughs> God has been raising you in my heart. And I'm serious about this. You said? The only thing that brought me to this was the fact that I saw you standing for me in court. That broke me down. Are you by me? I've been to so many places around the world. But I've never seen someone who chooses to give his life for his friend or family except someone. You? No, not me. Jesus Christ. The only true friend that never gives up. The only true friend that never gives up. He played the role of your father in that dream. What do you mean? Ayubame, this may be the last time we'll be seen or even discussing together. Hmm? If you leave this place and you are sentenced to the prison and you die, and you find yourself in hell. Your life will be in a total mess. Da. Da. Does he have the power to save me from this kind of mess? Although God is a God of mercy, but this situation is somehow crazy. The way out is shady, shady. Jesus Christ, you could not save my mom. What's the assurance that he will save me either? But if he does, it's good. He loves you. I love me. Jesus loves you. He cares for you. I love me. After the hearing from the defensive and prosecuting counsel. I said I want to talk. I said you are in court. I said I want I to said talk. God, keep quiet. Allow him. Let him speak. My Lord, thank you for your patience. But before you declare your judgment, I would like to ask this court an important question. But before then, I need a glass of water. Worry or what are you called? Do you realize you are in the court of law? It is absolutely of no consequence to my interest. I need a glass of water. Don't stand here like a fool. I said I need a glass of water. <laughs> Get him work. Thank you, my lord. glass of water. My lord. Please, everyone in court, can anyone tell me the absolute weight 
of this glass of water? Anybody in court? Well, I think about a kilogram. Maybe five grams. Hmm. Unfortunately, none was able to get the absolute weight of this glass. The absolute weight of this glass of water does not matter. What really matters is how long this glass of water stays on the hand. If I hold it for a minute, nothing happens. But when I hold it for one half plus, it's possible that my hand will begin to ache and my arms will begin to shiver. The weight of this glass does not actually change. But the longer I hold it, the heavier it becomes. The bad experiences of life, the past of life, are like this glass of water. The more we hold on to it, the more it continues to hurt. It makes you paralyzed and incapable of doing anything when you hold on to hurt. You see, the heart about what happened to my mother, about how I felt Jesus could not save her in that accident, actually made me so hot and bitter against the personality of Jesus. And as you can see, it's really hot. And see where it has landed me. And I feel like I can pay back by living the way I like. But you see, members of the court, lawyers, the judge, and everybody listening to me in court, if we can put the glass down, forget the past, bury the heart, I think we'll be free and light-headed. I guess this whole hatred of Jesus has made me what I am, has made me a picture of my past heart. And so therefore, my Lord, I'm repentant. This is not me, but a mirror of my past hatred. And so therefore, my Lord, I plead for mercy. I plead for forgiveness so that I can go back home and live in peace with my father. If I can get this mercy, how much, how, how, how happy I will be, my Lord. Hmm. Those words are deep and thought-provoking. But this is my judgment. This court of law found you guilty and I hereby declare Mr. Abogunde Ayobami peace guilty of the charges levied against him. Therefore, you are sentenced to death by hanging. Alright. I pleaded for mercy. I pleaded for mercy. I said, I pleaded for mercy. I said, I was sorry. I pleaded for mercy. Can Jesus have mercy on me? This is quite pathetic. Do you know what you are? Fala Kame. I was surprised when you were assisted here. Is this really you? And to your question, who will not know what you are? Despite his numerous troubles he has caused. So I came around to witness his judgment. But on hearing him speak, I felt for him. For John's sake, 
I'm sorry for all I've caused you. I don't know if you can forgive me and accept me back into your life again. Hmm? Because you are the real will of God for me. I'm sure. I'm very sure of this. Did you really say those words? Or they just popped out of your mouth unconsciously? That's you. You. The will of God for my life. <laughs> you see, there's something you don't know. That when the will of God refuses to align with the will of God, then the will of God will not take you to his will in life. I said, I'm sorry. <laughs> Please. You were not only the will of God for me then. You were only privileged to be chosen of God for me. But when you rejected to will, the Lord brought another best. I mean another perfect will. So, you are engaged? Yeah. Sister Dara Sumi. Oh, for luck, Emi. You are engaged to Dara Sumi. Oh! oh my God. <laughs> you see, I am engaged to my God-sent angel. To the will of God for my life, to the one who has decided to grow with me, despite my jalopy very cool mm. that you rejected before God gave me a better one. And mind you, you say our wedding service in the next two months. What should I still tell you about this personality? It's enough for Johnson. She's having a bad time already. Eh? For lack of me. I'm so sad and very sorry about all that has happened to you. But you can still start again. God is so much interested in you. Hmm? And do not hesitate to reach me anytime you need help. <laughs> Please put yourself together. You see, my dear sister, I'm oh, sorry. My sister, you see, you can still start again. Falakon, you see, God can still mend you. This is just like a scar that came out of your desires for mundane things. And so many lustful things right within you. You see, God's mercy can still heal you of this very scar. Because that is what he specializes in, healing the broken hearted. So like I mean, put yourself together. Hmm? Put yourself together. for lacking in as much as I would love to always push you around I'm sorry I would love to go back to school ah oh, all right I have to go back to school besides this is my scar I have to bear it alone no 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 don't worry no, I can't help No, I'm fine. You can go. I will find my way. Don't worry. Please go. Go back to school. Take care.